I'm Jim with InStuff Music, and I'm here to do a demo today of the Blackstar Silver Line Standard. Blackstar are proud to introduce the stunning new Silver Face series of guitar amps. Building on the critically acclaimed ID Series technology, these digital amps feature a unique dual patent design with a high powered Shark processor to deliver uncompromising tone for every playing style. If you're on the hunt for the ideal grab and go combo, the Silver Line Standard is the perfect choice. The 20-watt Silverline standard combo boasts all of the processing power, tonal options, and connectivity of its bigger brothers, but in a form factor that's ideal for musicians on the move. The Blackstar Silverline is a 20-watt, four-channel solid-state amplifier featuring a single 10-inch Celestion VT Junior speaker. On the top panel of the amp, you'll find the headphone jack, which doubles as a line-out, eighth-inch line-in jack, single quarter-inch instrument input, amp voicing control dial, controls for gain, volume, three band EQ section with controls for bass, treble, and Blackstar's patented ISF control, which when turned fully counterclockwise, lends an American characteristic to your amp choice with a more tight bottom end and a scoop mid-range. And turned all the way to the right, you'll enjoy a more common British mid-forward voicing. Next up is the True Valve Power or TVP control which gives your Blackstar Silverline standard six different responses modeled after the most popular power tube types. Then select buttons for onboard modulation, delay and reverb effects, along with a tap tempo button, a control dial to select effect type, effect level control knob, master volume knob, jack for the foot switch, and the power switch. Below the main controls, you'll find a smaller row of controls containing the USB jack, which you can use to connect a laptop and utilize Blackstar's bundled insider software for deep editing, then buttons for manual, preset bank, and the four channel select buttons. Finally, the Blackstar Silverline standard weighs in at 31 pounds and features a free online foot switch offer if purchased before December 31st, 2019. Get yours today at instuffmusic.com and thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit like, leave a comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Okay, now we're back after the technical specs for the amp. Before we begin today, let's take a quick look at how we're recording. Uh, just using a 421 and a ribbon going out to the board. We're gonna run through all the features of this amp. There's a lot of settings and a lot of different variables. So I'm just gonna try to give a quick uh, sampling of a bunch of different tones. So the first one I've got dialed up here um, is like a 6v6, kind of going for like a deluxe reverb sound. You can see how I have the controls set. We're gonna go on the Strat for a while and then I'll kick it over to the 335 for some humbucker sounds. All right, clean, everything wide open on the guitar in the neck. All right, now I'm gonna have to stand to manipulate the controls, apologies. Let's take that reverb off. It's kind of a longish reverb I had on there. Do a little bit of a funk thing. This is the middle and the bridge. Okay. 
the way that the uh, modulations in the reverb work, if you look here, let's say I want to engage the reverb on this setting. I can go in here and every one of these lights as I cross them, those are different types of reverb. And you have your uh, overall effect level and the, the wetness of the particular effect. So if I have this reverb here, I have it set it kind of halfway in the dial. Here's where we're at. Kind of a room sound. If I move it to the next one, a little longer. Next one. Even longer. Final one. Even longer. And if I turn that all the way up, you can hear it get wetter. Now, I can go from the 6V6 to a 6L6, which would be more like a super or a twin. So here's the clean warm still. It's a little more bold, a little bigger sound. Let's hear the difference between the clean warm and the clean bright. I have my ISF all the way to the American side. Let's, well, let's, you know what, let's keep it there first. And here the bright. So it's brighter. Let's hear the difference if I bring the ISF control to the middle. still use pedals with this. Let me hear it in the front with a little bit of a drive. move over to some drive sounds. So I'm going to take it over next to the uh, crunch setting. And this is going to be like uh, kind of an early like a JTM 45 thing. Leave everything in the middle. Just kill the reverb for now. Let's hear it. <laughs> the volumes are a little different on some of these. So kind of get them matched. Let's take it all the way over to the UK side, as Black Star calls it. Try to take that to say a KT sixty six. Oh, let's 
get some EQ. Let's bring the bass back, the treble up, ISF to the middle. And let's add some reverb back in. And here it is. You can hear how that dramatically changes the nature of the sound. How about EL84's? Uh, kind of a box thing. Let's get that a little cleaner. Let's bring the level up. Let's bring the treble up. We'll keep our ISF in the middle. Here's where we're at. Keep going around the dial. Super crunch. This is going to be kind of plexi territory. Bring our gain up. Let's take the reverb out to start. EL34s. Here we go. Now, let's try some reverb and let's try KT88s. How about KT66s, which is what Hendrix used, I think. Now that's pretty gained up, so if we bring it back, we'll be in more like traditional plexi territory. Now, the way that all these other effects work is the same. So if I bring the delay in, I have uh, four different types of delay. So you hear that one. Moving to some higher gain stuff with humbuckers. Okay, 335, some humbucker sounds. Let's move over to OD1. EL34s, ISF in the middle. Leave my delay and reverb in like I had them. Let's see where we're at. Okay, 
Let's move the ISF over. Here we go. So when you go to the American side with the six L6s, that's kind of getting you kind of in Mesa territory almost. And I don't even have the gain up all that high, that's just at 50%, uh, so there's plenty of gain on tap. Now for all these, you also have modulations. So if you listen here. It's one. And you can have all the effects, the overall level right there. Okay, so let's go to OD2. So let's keep it on uh, 6L6s. Apologies for the hum, Some, a lot of gains. Here we go. Take that uh, gain up even more, and uh, EL34s perhaps. This gets pretty extreme, so here we go. I take that ISF and put it in the middle. Okay, well hopefully that was a nice sample of all of our sounds. That was the Black Star Silver Line Standard.